Damn. Uh. Welcome, welcome, welcome everybody. Today we're gonna continue with a new farming strategy. Let me show you how far we got with the episodes, how many uh, headhunter cards we farmed. We are at four doctors, five nurses and four patients. Now in this strategy I'm also going to include this particular recipe, relic, that at the end all of the unique coins will be transformed into unique items. I hope this turned out to be really great. Uh, now the atlas tree pretty much straightforward. We are going for a magic finder passive tree with a wandering path. More currency drops from this particular talent. Of course we're gonna go with the blight. Now why particularly blight? Blighted chests at the end of the blight are affected by the map modifiers. Because we're going to be magic finder with a lot of quantity, the items are going to drop, it's going to be a lot more than if we were not magic finder. The room and blight are very good synergizing together uh, for the simple fact that while we are doing the delirium and when we activate blight the timer will stop and we're going to build up a lot of the rewards which is pretty nice. Now, all of these maps are Alchemet, Chiseled and Corrupted. They gonna contain Harbringers, gonna contain Blight and of course Shaper. And we're gonna try to do, as I said before, as much as possible gold at the end of the run. Now let's see how much all of this cost before we start, so we know how much we've been investing. Alright, so the investment here is 666 chaos orbs, or I said another way, 2 divines and 166 uh, chaos orbs. Wow, more 6 links, nice. There we go, another portion of 6 links. We are starting just like the previous episode. Now we're also in including buffs for my blighted towers. As you can see, we have burning grounds on the meteor tower, and also we have... Uh, freezing basically tower our freezing tower is gonna pr pretty much freeze the opponents in place uh, which is pretty nice as well you guys look at this I'm sure that it's gonna be a lot of stuff here hundred percent all right just a map but hey it's something now I'm not very big fan of ritual but it's here so let's just take it I was so allergic from it that I actually forgot to check the rewards at the end. <laughs> so what I can tell you so far that Meteor Tower with Burning Ground and freezing the enemies for a little bit is working very well. Guys, every single time when I'm seeing two Divination card chests, I'm like, this is gonna be something. Oh. Look at what weapon it dropped. I don't know guys, but I have some interesting uh, idea to try to make it 6 link with 6 diffusings. Oh well, close enough. Whoa! The good part about this map, I think that those chests that are contains divination cards are also related to the drops of the map. So every single time when I'm opening those that have 146% increased quantity... Wow, okay, it's tax Dex. I have a pretty good chance to gather uh, the, the Doctor card, right? Oh, look at that! Okay, something very big dropped. I don't know what it is. What is that? Wait, is that the key thing? That's just... This is so insane. Like, how? How this can have value of three divine orbs? There is only shitty items dropping from this thing. Guys, you're not expecting me to open this right now, right? Time meets frozen. Oh, three blighted maps. Oh, look at this. 13 stack decks. Now, something about the Sanctum in this particular uh, <laughs> the video, I very much messed it up. I couldn't see rewards, I couldn't see the afflictions, I couldn't see the root types, I couldn't see nothing. And that result to be very, very, very uncomfortable uh, playthrough. Um, 
Whoa, golden oil, nice. Right, you guys, look at how many blights I've been completing. Let's open every single one of them. Let's see if we're gonna hear some good sound. Nothing so far. Come on. Ah, could be better. Oh wait a second. Two exalt orbs. That also counts as a good as a good profit. Oh ho, ho look at that. Oh, Oh, the third gold oil. Nice. <laughs> Say to me. <laughs> you guys might wonder why you're laughing. Look at that. I just got her sanctum. It's fully review. <laughs> I'm at the last fucking boss, you motherfucker. Alright, you guys. Because of the relic, I need to go Uber, right? So, here we go. The needed. Oh wow! I guess it's gonna make it more interesting at the end. <laughs> I don't want to think about it. Increase totem placement speed. Alright, guys, the highlights of the episode: we have a void key, we have. Urban Reservation C with three notables, pretty decent. This is one uh, divine. Uh, we gathered three golden oils. I believe there were three, right? Yeah, there we go. There were three, but I don't know what I'm doing with it. All right, there we go. There are three golden oil. We have this particular thing that it's for 1.5 divines, which I have no clue what it is. And the invitation. A little more currency from the conversion. So let's see how much we made from the last couple of maps. And the software showing us uh, 500 Chaos Orb, which is two divines. Alright, you guys, the whole experiment it's 15 divines. Alright, it's probably 16 or 15 and a little bit, but whatever. It's 15 divines, which means that we are gathering one more doctor and one more nurse. And this is pretty much very, very close uh, to gathering the headhunter. Alrighty, guys, we are at five doctors, seven nurses, and four patients. Pretty successful episode today as well. Alright, guys, click the like button, subscribe button, notification bell, so you don't miss the series. And see ya in the next Grand Fest.